Hi, Natalie Galbus. My name is Dr. Terry Zachary, and I am a former professional golfer from years and years and years ago, uh, mostly mini tours. Uh, but I saw from a um, well, from your Twitter account, my part, my business partner had sent me uh, that you were asking for favorite golf exercises or new golf exercises. And I'd like to show you a really important one. Uh, we do have thousands of uh, golfers, both professional and amateur, that we've worked with. We've never really focused on the golf market, but that's certainly coming. Uh, we've been focused on therapy and fitness, uh, climbing, music market, and whatnot. But my exercise is using a product that we developed, and it's called Handmaster Plus. You may have even seen it, um, but I want to tell you why it's so important for golfers. Uh, the product was made because when we worked, when I worked in practice, I'm a chiropractor by training, and so when I took some time off my practice and I saw golfers, how they trained their hands, they would usually take something that was only like a ball, a tennis ball, a racquetball, and just squeeze it. I can't tell you how poor that idea is mechanically. Let me show you why, Natalie. First of all, you have the same amount of muscles that open the hand. Excuse me, this will be a little awkward. The same amount of muscles that open the hand that are located on the back of the hand as the amount of muscles that close the hand, which basically related in the front, or uh, located in the front of the hand, wrist, forearm, and elbow. Now these muscles for the hand, wrist, forearm, and elbow to be in balance must stay in balance uh, or the joints will have problems. We see a lot of carpal tunnel syndrome, a lot of finger and thumb problems, a lot of wrist problems, and a lot of elbow problems. And let me just show you why with a golfer. I've brought a golf club here. I'll try to show you this as clearly as possible. When I hold a golf club, you can see this is the back side of my, of my hand. Okay, and you can see as I go that these muscles, as I grip, these muscles are contracting just as much as the flexor muscles are. This is the extensor or, or finger opening side. When I grip a golf club, even if with a, with a, with a, a light grip like we obviously want to do as, as uh, advanced golfers, even as we grip it lightly, you're going to see that these finger muscles contract just as much as the finger flexor muscles because if they didn't, the fingers would just fall forward, okay? The grip would just fall forward. This is the exact ones that I see professional golfers and amateur golfers alike not paying attention to exercise-wise. When I come down to hit the golf ball, when the, even when the grip's light, which we want it to be, when I come down to the moment of impact, we know by uh, EMG, surface electromyography, studies that we've done that this these extensor finger extensor muscles contract very high, as do the grip muscles because we're coming down and compressing the ball. So basically what we want to tell you is that when I'm doing this for my career over and over and over as I practice, as I play, as I am in the gym gripping weights, we are building static muscles on this hand, wrist, forearm, and elbow on the back side. That's why we see so much tennis elbow, wrist extensor tendonitis. It's also why we see on the other side, excuse me, I'll try to show this as best as possible. That's why we see on the other side the carpal tunnel shutting down because we're using the flexor muscles but not the muscles that open and spread the hand which are located back here. So I'm getting wordy but I want to show you really simply how to use this. When we first started training golf professionals or, or, or golf athletes, uh, advanced amateurs that practice a lot, I would show them about four or five exercises to train all of the 18 muscles. Again, nine muscles close the hand, nine muscles open the hand we want to influence golfers to train all of those. Now, when I train, when I had them train them all, I would show them four or five exercises and they just wouldn't do it, they wouldn't pay attention. So thus, we developed a Handmaster Plus and now we can just have the person put this on, basically put the fingers and thumbs on, just like so. Now in one motion, we have them close against the ball Count of one, open and spread for count of one. Close against the ball for count of one, open and spread. So now the athlete or the patient just has to remember to close and open and spread their hand. And they're going to strengthen all of those 18 muscles, full natural range of motion. Now I'll look to see what's happening. When I squeeze, open and spread, now I'm taking these muscles through their full natural range of motion. If I'm going to be a golfer, I'm going to be contracting them in a static position through my career. I better have a solution to open and spread and keep them healthy to offset the repetitive nature of my profession.